Daniel. Book of Daniel. Amen. Now don't, don't y'all get happy. We ain't finna talk about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Amen. Amen. And what we want to, scriptures we want to look at is in chapter 12, verses 8 through 13. Amen. Though you and have it, please say I have it. Amen. The scriptures read as the and I heard, but I understood not. Then said I, O oh my Lord, what shall be the end of these things? And he said, Go thy way, Daniel. For the words are closed up and sealed to the time of the end. Many shall be purified and made white and tried. But the wicked shall do wickedly. And none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. Amen. Amen. And from the time that the daily sacrifices shall be taken away, and the admonition that make it desolate set up, there shall be a thousand two hundred and ninety days. Blessed is he that waited and coming to the thousand three hundred and thirty-five and five and thirty days. But go thy way to the end be, for thou shalt rest and stand in thy lot at the end of these days. You may be seated. Dear Heavenly Father, precious Lord and Savior, Lord God, we come to you this morning, Father. We come in the all-powerful, mighty name of Jesus, asking you for mercy, dear Lord. I plead his blood this morning as I ask, Father God, that you relieve me of all selfish interest, uh, selfish interest and allow me, Father God, to be a worthy vessel to express the thoughts that you've given me this day. Lord, I love you and I bless you and I praise your holy and precious name. Amen. And for a thought, you know what I found out? <clears throat> Subjects and titles, they just something for you to start at. Because I know for a fact, I preached this topic before in due time. But how many of us know that time is exponential? Amen? Just like you can't count time in its infinity, you cannot limit the many times you can use that thought. Amen? Because time is important in the kingdom of God. Amen? We as a people, one of our least used and most vital attributes is patience. Amen? And, 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 and with patience, I mean, the scripture says, let patience have her perfect work. Amen. Yeah. Amen. But we have, since the beginning of time, been in a hurry mm, yes. for God to do what he's going to do. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Amen. Amen. We've been rushing God to hear up and do. But not, uh, God had a special affinity for Daniel. You know, uh, Daniel, he's part of the captivity. Amen. And his, uh, the first three fellows I spoke about in, in just a moment ago, they were all captured at the same time. They were all were rebellious to a certain degree. Amen. They were all set in the word of the Lord. Amen. Even over the course of time, the kings could not persuade them to go another direction. Amen? Amen? 
But of, uh, but of these four, Daniel was special. Amen. Ezekiel spoke so highly of Daniel because he refused the king of Tyre. Amen. Because he refused to bow down. But Daniel being special was still human. Amen. In the last four verses I just read to you, it spoke about how Daniel was impatient. Amen. Now, now he was strong enough in the beginning to deny the king. To tell the king what he wasn't going to do. Amen. Then he was persuasive enough to make a deal with the king. Amen. To, 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 to bargain with him. So just let me and my God prove to you this issue. But with all that on Daniel's side, he still was impatient. He, he was so impatient to have got to the point where the Lord that was steady feeding him with knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, giving him a chance to interpret, prophesy, and to look in the future, amen, to, 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 to be more than, 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 than what any other person was, even more than Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He allowed him to shine in front of the king. He was still so impatient, wanting to know when this thing was going to happen. Amen. Amen. But the Lord told him to stop writing. Amen. Close the book. This is not for you to know at this time. But that was just the beginning of sorrow. Amen. It was just the beginning because not only Daniel, it's all the prophets of the Old Testament had their own journey they had to make for us finding out what God was talking about. Amen? Amen. But the one thing that, that, that each one of them had in common because there is only one in time. Amen? It could be some imposters. It could be some things happening that make you think that the end is there. Yeah. But there cannot be an end time. And thank you, Pastor, for, for teaching on what you've been teaching on Wednesday. I mean, I, I was up here Wednesday and I was trying to run you down what you had other pastoral duty to do because uh, you was calling out scriptures that I had been reading on for the last three weeks. But anyway, to get back to what I'm saying, there has to be a cleaning before that time comes. Amen? And some of us are saying right now that cleaning is happening right now. I'm going through hell in a handbag. The people are, 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 are killing people, men sleeping with men, women sleeping with women. The end time is now. But I come in to tell you this morning that the time is not now. The time is not in our hands. The time is in God's hands. Just because it looks like we gone, we're not gone yet. I want you to keep in your mind that there must be a thing before the end. Amen. The Bible says so. The Bible reiterates that time and time again. Amen. Amen. Now, now if you want to thumb through the way, I want you, I need you to go to Zechariah in uh, chapter 13. I got so much paper in this book this morning. But I know I got it there for a reason. Chapter 13. And I'm just going to read the first three verses to let you understand that this so-called minor prophet still had, still God talked with him to give to the people. And see, what I want y'all to understand this morning is, by you being a child of the Most High God, everything that was written in the Old Testament, though it say Jew, and though it speak against the Gentiles, it speaks for each and every one of you today. Amen. Because we are many members and one body. We all come together in the Lord. Amen. You don't have to stand up and do anything. I'm going to read this. It says, In that day, there shall be a fountain open to the house of David and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem for sin and unrighteousness.
and cleanliness. And it shall come to pass in that day, saith the Lord of hosts, that I will cut off the name of the idols out of the land, and that shall no more be remembered. And also I will call the prophets and the unclean spirits to pass out of the land. Amen. Amen. That should be reassuring to a lot of us. Amen. Amen. It should be reassuring because we know that not only was it stated that there would be a cleaning, there had to be a cleaning, we've been prophesied that it will be a cleaning. Amen. Amen. Now, now we know that when we are speaking, I, what I want you to understand is from the beginning to the end, it's one Bible. Amen. It might be many words in here, but there's only one word. There's only one word, and that's God's word. Right. Amen? Amen? It's God's word. And God is letting his people know that no matter what, in fact, he is the one that's causing all the mess in your life. Oh, no, God can't do that. Not my God. God's supposed to help me. You know? God's supposed to help me. What, what, what God do in causing wars and rumors of wars and having famine? He can grow anything, anywhere. Amen. But God got a purpose because God knows there has to be a cleaning. He knows that two thirds of the known world can't survive. Amen. It's just like if you got a barrel of apples. Amen? And you got one bad apple. And that apple is in there just doing what it wants to do. Spread rot and depravity all through the barrel. The only way to save that barrel is to get that apple out. Amen? God is doing the separating. Amen. 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 God don't have a problem with killing the whole world. Did it before? Amen. Amen. Whatever it takes, you know, we have people that, that in the past that that, that had injuries that that that, 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 that turned into gang green and stuff. And the man tell the man, one of my favorite people, loves him too. The man said, look here, I got to cut that leg out of me. No, you can't have it. Uh-uh, ain't do using it. My uncle told me the same thing. And the doctor told my uncle, he said, I got to cut you. And my uh, uncle told him, look here, see, I'm back to you. I him, I ain't do using it yet. <laughs> Amen? Sometimes you got to cut your losses. And God don't have a problem with cutting his losses. He knows for a fact that the whole world won't be saved. Because the devil got such a grip on us right now. Amen. The devil is already dragging us through the muck and the mire. And God got his hands full trying to pluck each and, us, each and every one of us out. But God is to the point where God has given you a way out. If you refuse to take it, that's your decision. You chose that way of life. You chose to be that loose and that liberal, that seductive taker. Amen? Amen? Those are choices you make, but I want you to know today that two-thirds of the people in this, in this building could be gone. Now, you notice I didn't say y'all were going to be gone. I said y'all could be gone. Because what I want you to know is the parameter in which we're working with right now. God has did it before two parts of the world he got rid of. But that one part he kept. He, he kept them lifted up. He kept them protected. But now they all had to go through the cleaning. Amen. Don't you know people right now are saying, well, ooh, I don't want to die. What am I going to No, I don't want to die. But I was sitting at a table yesterday. And the baby at the table was me. But I was sitting amongst four brothers. And that baby was 
was 77 years old and still driving cabs in the city of Houston. The oldest was 85, and we don't know exactly how old he is. Every year we go down there, they find some old documents saying he's older and older and older. Amen? Amen. But, but, but what, what, what I wanted to, 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 to impress upon you is, it was five of us sitting there. Amen? And they were recalling, recollecting, and, and just discussing things. Amen? And, and, and in each one of them had been a master homemonger, a drunk in his life. Amen? But how many of y'all know that God got some cleaning to do? Amen? And see, once, once, once you've been through the fire, once you've been, been, been protected, sealed to the day of redemption, amen? Amen? Ain't no telling how long you're going to live. Right, right. And then that's not the, that that's just that's just the beginning. But me and my wife brother were sitting up on the porch, and Marie said, Perry, that's gonna be us one day. And I had to look at him and say, if the Lord say the same. Yeah. Amen. Oh how blessed it would be to be in complete control of all my faculties. Amen. To be able to sit under the shade, amen, and talk about what God did for me 50, 60, 70 years ago, amen. But the only way I can have that, if I got to give it to God right now, I got to stop those things that I love doing, amen. Amen, and, and, and some of those things seem like they're a little improbable. But what I want you to know that in due time, Things are going to happen in your life that God has set aside for you. Yeah. The patience I was telling you to, to look forward to. But now watch this here. There is enough confidence in the word that you can make these momentary sacrifices. Uh-huh. You can give it up for right now. Because he's already prophesied. We're going, I mean, we're going through the Bible again. I want you to go back to Isaiah. Amen. 43rd chapter. Where is it? Change their name. Right. 
They'll shout. I'm not going to try to pronounce all them different names. Try to change their name. But how many of us know when they got ready to talk to God and God got ready to answer them, God didn't call them by their Persian name. God called them by thy name. He knows his people. Amen. 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 And I call you, and, and thou art mine, that's what he expressed in verse 1. And when thou passest through the waters, we still trying to get clean. Amen. But this is the comforting part of it. Amen. I will be with thee and through the rivers, and they shall not overflow thee. No matter what's going on around your church, no matter how much is being put on you. Look here. If you only have room to breathe a little air, take heed in the fact that God got you. He got you. He'll keep you there until he can do that. Amen. And we know he's going to take care of those that believe in him. Amen? And thou shalt not overflow thee when thou walkest through the fire. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. There shall not be burned. Mm. Right. Amen. Now, Amen. Now this is before the three Hebrew boys. Mm. You know, right. we think about just the fire of furnace and all these things here. But God is able to keep us in spite of the majority of the things that we cause to happen to ourselves. Amen? Amen? My, my baby brother right there, I, 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 I'm, I'm going to tell this story because it didn't hurt him. See, see, my brother can walk. Those of y'all that know him, y'all know he he walk all over Trinity God and send him with whatever you want to call it. But how many of y'all know he wanted a piece of toast one morning when he was five years old? Pulled down the oven door. Stood up there. Now, this is the crazy part. When I put one foot up there, I knew something was wrong. But he put both of them up there to get that piece of toast. And God kept it. Amen? Don't you know if you reach it for a prize, whether it's your own prize or one God wants you to have, God's going to protect his people. Those that he know by their name. Amen? Amen. He will be there. And then he confirmed right here in verse 3, he said, For I am the Lord thy God. The Holy One of Israel, the Savior, and this, this, now y'all got to watch this here, see, and uh, uh, the Savior, I gave Egypt to ransom, Ethiopia, south of the, that's the price he paid, amen, amen, each one of those nations got into God's business, but no more. He, he, he disassembled them as a nation. Yeah. Took his people back. But even though he allowed that thing to happen, mm -hmm. amen, God is allowing unnecessary, unnecessary travails to go on in your life. There are things that, that, that you really feel like you shouldn't have to go through mm -hmm. not being a child of God. But I want you to know that God is just trying you. Amen. He's bringing you through the fire. Amen. He's smeltering away the waste. Amen. The things that are not useful to his people are being discarded. Amen. How can you put new wine and old wine spoon? Amen. You can't do that. Amen. You can't do that. And God is not going to bless you with that new body till you get your new on the inside. Amen. He got to take you through the fire. He got to purify what he's claimed. What's healed. Not something he's sharing with the devil. Something that belongs to God and God only. Once he's done that, 
He's made it just like he wanted. And everybody still want to talk about the trial and the tribulation they go going through. That's part of it. Yeah, yeah. Amen? Some take it better than others. Yeah. But how many of us know that the prophecy has been fulfilled? Amen. that we had to go through has been fulfilled. And I say that because we are not dealing with the Old Testament anymore. That was just something the devil looked forward to. But we have stepped into a different dispensation of grace and of mercy. Some of the things our forefathers had to go through, they had to go through. But God Amen. Amen. Does he look comfortable? Is he what you was waiting on to come back? Huh? Amen. No, he ain't. No, he ain't. That's a suffering Messiah. I'm looking for a glorious king to come back. It's not up on that cross anymore. He went there. And he went there for me. Turn to the book of Acts. In the third chapter. In the third chapter. Verse 18. Through 21, I'm going to be through reading and just about through doing what God called me to do this morning. See, God really didn't, didn't, didn't have me up here to, to, to tell y'all that he hung, bled, and died on Calvary's cop. Amen? He had me up here this morning to tell you to be patient and wait on the Lord. Amen? Be patient. Don't question when this good thing going to happen to you, just accept the fact that this good thing is going to happen to you. Amen? Verse 18 reads, But those things which God before had showed by the mouth of all the prophets, Amen? That Christ should suffer. And he did. He should suffer. He did. He had to suffer. Amen? He had not to suffer, just not for me, but he had to suffer in order to keep God from being alive. Amen? Amen. But he's also, as the scripture says, and so he has fulfilled that. Right. Amen? Yeah. He done made that come true. And it said, repent, repent ye therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out as all of you. When the time of the refreshment shall come from the presence of the Lord. Now that's something that you need to jump up and dance on your feet for. Amen. Because look at here. We know this journey right now is hard. And hopefully, and hopefully, this will be a long journey for us. Amen. You know, some of them 75, 85, 95 year old men sitting around the table. Hopefully we'll be able to sit back and just look back at the goodness of God and know that it was well worth it. Right. Amen. It was well worth the dollar fifteen cents an hour job that I had to work from can to can. Amen. It was well worth to pump wood. That's what they were talking about. Tell the pump with everything about pump with truck, but now some had to get up to the truck. Me and that pump wood on the show to get it to the truck. Man. These brick houses we got right now, we think right now that they, they just come out of, out of the furnace, sit on pallets, street wrap, tied up, ready to go. No, back then you had to catch it. And you had to catch it the right way. Because if you catch them wrong, you can't play. Then they wouldn't have a time. 
that this is where we're coming from when we come to the fulfillment of the prophecy. The fulfillment. He says, And repent ye therefore, and be converted, for your sins may be blotted out. When the time of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord, I can't refresh you. Pastor Baines can't refresh you. Amen? He spoke at a revival. Which one of the main purposes of a revival is a refreshing? Amen. But preachers can't refresh you. Amen. 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 Only God can do the refreshing. Amen. Because he's the only one that knows exactly what you need at that exact time to get you where you need to be for that exact thing that he wants you to be doing. Amen. Only God can do the refreshing. But he's willing and able. I'm almost through. And he shall send Jesus Christ, which before was preached unto you. How many of y'all have heard about Jesus? Amen. So there ain't going to be no surprise when he get back. Amen. Amen. I don't know about y'all, but I'm as happy as a kid at Christmas time. Because I done made me a list and I'm checking it twice. Amen. Because I know when he get back, the only thing I want is going to be given to me. Mm. The right. Well, I already have a right to the tree of life. But I'm going to be given my new name. All right. Amen. I'm going to have whatever introduction I need to get into heaven. Because it's been promised to me by the prophets. And Jesus Christ has Set it aside just a minute. And, and look here. They can't say no. They can't say no right. Verse 4 says they can't say no. It says, whom the heavens must receive. They got to take me. I done paid my due. Can't nobody go in there for me. They ain't going to have no, I did it in there because God knows who I am. Until the time of restitution, all debts got to be paid. Amen. 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 You can't owe, owe nobody in this world and expect to get to the next. Pay your bill. How do you pay your bill? You're working on it right now. Amen. Amen. You didn't listen to what the what, what the prophet said and forsook not the assembly that you said. You to come together, touching and grinning and being on one accord. You're not here because you ain't got no place else to be. You're here because you're paying back what Jesus Christ gave to you. Life and life more abundantly. He did it. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. I'm going to finish this and then I'm going to sit down. Which God has spoken by the mouth of Isaiah, Ezekiel, Zechariah, Amos, Hosea, Michael. Now, 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 there are some in here that want to know why I didn't speak about just Isaiah and Daniel and Jeremiah. Amen? Because even though those were mighty men of God, they were all that God sent to get you over the hump. Right. Amen. Each one of them was given a task. Mm -hmm. And right now I want you to know that there's no reason for us to question God about what time is it. Mm -hmm. all right. Amen. Amen. Are, are we there yet? Mm -hmm. Amen. When you at peace with God, and more importantly, at peace with yourself. The ride, the journey, is as much fun as being there. In Second Chronicles, it said, "If my people yeah. mm -hmm. that are called by my name shall humble themselves, 
repent and turn from their wicked ways. We can stay here on this side of glory because he's already promised if we did all that, he would heal our land. He'll heal that problem you have with your landlord. He'll heal that problem you have with your son, your daughter, your wife, your brother. He'll heal that if you first commit to you. Amen. 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 And believe in the promise. Mm -hmm. And believe that if his people that are called by no other name but he, but there, then will he hear from heaven and hear their name. Amen. Amen. I don't read out of stuff to say. I really have. But, 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 but I have and I have them, but I, it's a